Snapshot 24W38A is here with Dyed Bundles, an updated world creation screen for Realms with support for hardcore mode, and lots of fixes. My name is Sliced Lime, and this is a showcase of all of it. Let's start with the bundles. Bundles can now be dyed, just like you would dye a shulker box. The recipe is a bundle and any dye item. This works even if you had previously dyed that bundle. And just like with shulkers, the dye serves no purpose other than as a convenient way to tell your bundles apart. And speaking of shulkers and dyeing, the shulker box dyeing recipes now show up in the recipe book. You can now once again drink honey bottles even if you aren't hungry. And there's now a limit to how quickly you can spam throwing items out of the creative inventory. This comes together with a number of bug fixes for desynchronization problems with the creative inventory, including that the whole inventory would desync if you shift-clicked the destroy item button. And furnace minecarts have been fixed to be able to go around corners properly again. In the mob fixes, squids and glow squids now get pushed properly by bubble columns. In Realms news, the normal create world screen is now used when you create a world on a realm, which means you can do things like change all the generation settings, add data packs and change game rules. This also means you can now enable hardcore mode on a realm. In visual news, name tags and text display entities seen through blocks no longer shine brighter than when they were not behind blocks, and also no longer show different brightness depending on which angle you look at them from. In the user interface, the recipe book search field is now selected if you click the search icon. And the spruce chest boat now shows the correct title in the inventory view. And there's a new language, High Norwegian. In sound news, shooting fireworks into amethyst blocks no longer makes the block breaking sound. And the burning sound no longer repeats every tick for burning item entities. And of course, this snapshot brings more stability in the form of crash fixes, as well as technical changes in data pack version 54 and resource pack version 39, including news like a new transmutation recipe type. If you're also interested in those changes, keep an eye out for a separate video about that. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I think you are all well aware of where the like button is placed at this point, but if you'd like to prove it to me, that is also absolutely acceptable. My name is Sliced Lime, and I'll see you next time.